Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. So I am back with a prophetic message. Um, I'm going to get straight into the message. So the way that I received this message was it came through as if some of you guys are going to find yourself dealing with a situation. It could be happening to your cousin, your brother, your sister, your mother, your auntie, co-worker, boss, next door neighbor. Take it how it resonates. There are going to be two key players at hand. There's going to be somebody who has been a single parent, and then there's going to be somebody else who was in a relationship, whether it was a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship with someone or whether it was a relationship of, you know, uh, a husband and a wife, Okay. So there's two key players here. And what's going to happen is some of you guys may find yourself dealing with a situation that one of your girlfriends or whoever I just named may become single in the sense that they got kids, younger kids, should I say, that can't be left unattended and that can't necessarily be left unattended. And then some could be like teenage age or whatever, where they're just asking to kind of check up on the kids or whatever. But basically some people are going to find themselves in a situation to where somebody that you know, that is close to you. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a relative. It could be again, a boss, sister, cousin, you know, mother, somebody that you know, who has kids in a sense, this doesn't apply to everybody. So take it how it resonates, but I'm just giving you the heads up because that's how God gave it to me. Just to pre-warn you ahead of time, the what's to come. So that way, you know, when the energy gets, here you go left or you go right whichever way you decide to go so basically um the two players at hand again it's going to be the one who was is already a single parent and she's like raising kids on her own and she has been she's you know having to be the mother and the father in a sense and then um not dependent on anyone thank you spirit not dependent on anyone and then you have the other girlfriend who's been so used to having um Let's just say help from, let's say, like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, because take it how it resonates. This can come in a male or a female form that is doing this. Um, but, and then you have the one who is either in a relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend, or it could be a situation of somebody was actually married and then either somehow they either got a divorce or they separated in some sort of way. So basically the way I saw this was, was the one who was already in a relationship, they're basically becoming single. And what's happening is the person who was already single, who had the kids and she's raising them pretty much by herself. What happened is, is her friend or somebody that she knows close to her is going to come to her basically and ask her if she can pretty much watch her kids or him, him or her ask him to watch the kids. But I saw that, um, I saw that because they're so used to doing this in a sense, um, to the point that when this happens, the friend who is single is actually going to be putting her foot down and creating boundaries with the other friend and let them know like, hey, I got stuff I got going on too. So it's almost like I can't necessarily do this. So basically what's happening here is um, the way I saw this was the friend left anyways, even after she told her like, hey, where you going? Because she told her like in a dream, like as an example, like she needed to go take a shower, but they were standing outside. So it was like a shower was like indoor. You know how you go to like an indoor swimming pool and they have a shower. It's kind of something similar to that. But again, that was just the, the scene and the scenario. Um, thank you, spirit. Okay, so the shower was a representation of water needing to cleanse. It's almost like this parent is needing a moment to kind of like cleanse, to take in, to, to reevaluate what's happening in a sense, because it's all going to happen. So suddenly is the way spirit just gave it to me. So her needing to go take a shower, it was almost like a representation of her needing to go get her thoughts herself together and get her mind right in her emotions in a sense. And it's almost like she's kind of leaving her child with somebody else in a sense, because she already feels like, well, Hey, you are already a single parent. You've been doing it like this all this time anyway. So I just need a minute. So can you watch my child in a sense? But the friend is going to find themselves getting a little upset in a sense, because it's almost like they have things that they have to do too. So it's now like, it's all, they get into feeling like their friend is throwing their burden off onto them. Whereas they've already been a single parent. So now she, her world is being, or his world is being abruptly shaken up to the point that um they don't know how to handle it but they feel like because the other person knows how to handle it well they will handle my situation too while i get myself together but with that being said the way i saw this was it switched scenes because it was started off that day and then it, it switched scenes excuse me and then it came into the next day so apparently it could be a situation where somebody leaves their child with somebody overnight and dang and i just saw 444 again this is like my second time having to record this video and i saw 444 anyway so with that being said, basically, um, when the friend does come back, 
the friend is going to be very upset and let her know. I said, hey, I told you to take your child with you. You know, you're, you're a single parent now. So guess what? And she was just trying to explain to her, I've been a single parent. But yes, I have been doing it on my own. But here's the key. I don't depend on other people. And I can't expect for other people to show up for me in a sense. So she was basically trying to share some, some wisdom and some information with her of how to cope with it. And basically that she should move as if she's not dependent on somebody else to basically watch her cat or excuse me her child well, i was about to say kyle <laughs> basically she should be de um, not dependent on someone to the point of just knowing and ex uh being codependent thank you spirit being codependent on expecting somebody to actually watch her child there may be moments where she has to watch her own child and take her own child with her wherever it is that she may needs to go whether it be to a job interview whether it be uh you know um to whatever i can't you know say because everybody's situation will be different but it may get to the point that you have to you know basically take your child with you pretty much wherever it is that you go in a sense um again because the friend was already single and now she's trying to learn how to adapt being single in a sense so anyway the friend came back and i saw that the friend was very upset and she basically explained to her you know again you need to keep your kids and not just assume that somebody's gonna watch your kids because people have things that they have to do and basically she's gonna be disappointed if she keeps depending on other people to watch her kids so in other words i saw some some people may find themselves in a situation where two things are gonna happen one is gonna be uh they actually kind of have a little Cause I saw like somebody hitting somebody in the chest and it, this could be happening to somebody where somebody is really being, you know, like, you know, pushing them in the chest in a sense, like, don't do that in a sense. Like, I didn't tell you that I would watch your kids in a sense, as well as the way I saw this as well too. So one, somebody's going to have it to where somebody's putting their hands on it. And then another case, it's to the point that somebody is like really just letting them know, pointing like at that heart space, activating their heart and just letting them know, hey, like um, I'm single too. So therefore, you know, I have things that I have to do too. So I can't carry your load in other words. So no, it's like teaching them how to be empathetic in a sense to other people and rather than just allowing things to be about them, them, them. Okay, so that was um, that was one message. And then I received another message too. And I'm gonna just make this one quick too, because the way I saw this was if you guys had something that you kind of like was working on and you kind of tucked it away in a sense, I saw that some of you guys are kind of pulling that back out to kind of, whether it be helping assist somebody energetically or whether it is helping somebody physically so you have to determine what that is i don't know what it could be it could be anything anything to whatever your gifts or your talents may be um whatever it is that you may have been working on and this message may just be for a few so but anyway with that being said um that's all that i have and i wish you all much love much light and i say peace and blessings and don't forget to remember to keep god first and foremost and to always keep christ in your mind and in your hearts remembering especially that we're coming up on this uh palms oh did we already pass palm sunday i believe we did coming up on as they refer to easter sunday should i say basically just knowing that uh christ had you know pretty much went to the cross for our sins and just you know so uh anyway i don't want to get into a whole spill of that but just remember that um if we had to switch places with Christ, you know, we probably wouldn't even want to. But anyway, so just remember, it's the blood of Jesus that saves. That's all I'm going to say. I wish you peace and blessings and always. Bye.